Hi there, this is James Klobasser and thanks for coming through to this page. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of background about you know, why you're actually watching this video and whether you know, talking to me in a more one-on-one -on -one conversation is, is worthwhile you even taking part in. So firstly, I wanted to introduce, you know, why would you be here? And really, if you're struggling to create that income online that you want to, and that's, that, by that I mean struggling to get paid what you're really worth. If you're stuck in confusion and overwhelm and having, a, having trouble just getting your time back and leveraging time. Or if you're having a real problem scaling, you know, growing your business bigger, then you're definitely in the right spot. What I'm going to do today is let you know who exactly this is for. And then I'm going to go into the three frameworks that I've been able to use for my clients to create literally millions of dollars worth of results. So first of all, I want to introduce you to who this is for. Now, I've got four ideal client types and I call them the king, the prince and also the queen and the princess. So, you know, we'll start here with the king and when kings come to me, just, just to be clear, like the king, the queen, the prince and the princess, they can be male or female, that doesn't matter. We're just talking about sort of stereotypes here. And when the king comes to me, he's already got a really healthy business, six or seven figure business going. Um, they are super well connected, so they're syndicators. They're able to grow networks and partnerships really well. They've normally got a really good network. Um, you know, whether it be a base of affiliates or JV partners or simply partnerships, they've all already got that established. They're also really smart marketers. You know, in their own right, they're smart marketers. They've launched products before. They've got proven results on the board. They also don't um, operate from a place of, you know, they're not trying to create uh, their first product. They're not trying to um, do it for some sort of legacy option or something like that. They're more so operating from security. So they're after the money, they're after big monetary gains. And you know, family and lifestyle is key for those people. So if you're one of those people, you know, that'll shout out to you. As I said, they run a six or seven figure business and normally into the high six figures already, if not into the seven. But the problem where, the, you know, where they break down is under strategy. They have connections, they have proven products, but they're unable to connect the dots. They're losing their time and leverage within the business by not having the correct strategy in place. And that's when they come to me, we normally work on strategy first and that gets them, gets them rolling. On the younger end, or I won't say the younger because sometimes they're the same age, but really on the smaller end of the scale is the prince. And the prince is super well, you know, super driven. He's a great implementer. He or she is a great implementer. They're able to move quickly on developing products, move quickly on, you know, taking video, doing, um, creating PDFs and all that sort of content creation type stuff. They run a mid six figure business or sometimes a five figure big business. So high, high five figures into the mid six figure range. They know the basics online, so they do have a product or a membership site, um, but essentially they are a follower online. So they're watching what everyone else is doing and then implementing from that place. And they haven't stepped into the leader position yet. And that's you know, where we come down to strategy. You know, their leading confidence is down. And also sales, they're not skilled in sales. Again, that's why they're, they're stuck at five figures, sometimes early six figures. They have too many systems in place. These are the people where you, you might be one of these yourself, where you've got lead pages and click funnels and Aweber and MailChimp and you know, 10 different sorts of the same product. And you're, you're stuck in confusion, un, like unwilling to kind of let go of anything just in case you miss out. So no clear path forward. This is their big problem. And essentially, they are spinning their wheels online. As I said, stuck at five-figure, early six-figure range, really unable to grow past that. Now, if we move across to the queen, now they are in a, a totally different situation. The queen is a like the 
really the consummate delegator. They are a ruler, they are a leader, they are able to run big teams of people, they are professionals in their own right. They are well connected, they are trusted in the marketplace, and they have proven results on the board. They're after a legacy. These are, as I said, lifestyle and legacy is key to them. They're well into seven figures, most of these um, entrepreneurial queens. And again, a queen position could be a male or female. Seven or eight figure businesses already um, looking to create legacy. They have personal wealth and they have personal runs on the board. Like they are a consummate professional. They know their game. They've got products. They're all about giving back to the marketplace through their knowledge. Okay. But the one problem that they have is their pride often holds them back. They're unable to say, I don't know that or I don't, um, you know, I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't know the next step. So they're unable to admit to that, which often you know, sees them stuck at a certain level. Once they get past that, they look to professionals. They look to hire one professional in a specific area to create a strategy that will bring them a specific result. So it's like one new result. That's all they're after, but a big one at that. So if you're in that range, if you're looking for someone to give you a really big result, I might just be the person you need. Last on the board is the princess. And the princess is totally different. The princess has a professional background. They are very experienced um, in their own profession. They haven't come online yet, or they may have only just started to come online. So again, very much a, an early, you know, an early, um, they're just stepping into the online world and they come from a real professional background with a lot of experience. They're service and passion based. So they're not really doing it for the money in their current position. They're doing it because they love their trade. These are the healers and um, that sort of, you know, element, the people that deal one-to-one -one with, pe with people, you know, chiropractors and dentists and just those, you know, touchy-feely type of people. Um, so service and passion to their clients are their key drivers and that, that drives their passion forward. They're just looking to grow that scope. So if you find yourself as one of those people, um, they're normally stuck at the five-figure mark, um, you know, earning, you know, whether it be sort of 50 to 60 to 70 to 80, under the $100,000 mark per year, they are very cash and time poor. They're over-serving their clients. They're over-delivering on value, although they don't know their own value. So they're able to escalate that really quickly. But at the same time, they are stuck with no clear path forward. They don't know sales, they don't know systems, and they don't know strategy to make their world simpler. They may know some of those pieces, but they don't know how to put the pieces together to create a really clear path to where the dollars are really good and their time is leveraged. They suffer from confusion and overwhelm, and these types of people, again, male or female, would be stuck as a product buyer. They would be buying lots of products and courses online. They would be you know, struggling to get through that extra knowledge to learn everything instead of actually stepping away, you know, maybe hiring someone like myself or a, a mentor, a guide to give them one clear path to create the strategy that they need to grow. Okay, so that's who you know, I'm normally dealing with. And as I said, there's four particular types. Uh, if you find yourself in that range, definitely watch on because I wanted to take you through the three frameworks that I use to grow businesses really from the beginner level at the princess kind of area right up to the king and the queen. And these are clients that I've, these are all modeled off clients that I've had in the past. Um, so taking people from five figures through to six, up to seven and dealing with people moving into the eight figure range. So let me just show you those now. Okay, so my strategy, and this is an overall strategy that would probably play out over a year or more. People come to me at different times and they might do just one section of this strategy depending on who they are, whether they be a 
prince or a queen or a king. Um, but this is where most of them start off. A lot of people need the foundation. Okay, and we're not talking about a queen here. A queen will have wealth behind her and cash flow. So not always using this early kind of, you know, kickstart phase of, of what we're about to talk about. In the kickstart phase, we're really searching for their, we identify their ideal client. We go, you know, we teach them sales. So someone like a princess or a uh, prince that isn't, you know, really up to, you know, up to grade on sales, we're teaching them that straight up front. Again, messaging, messaging to the market and their offer. Okay, these all tie together. Without sales, nothing happens. So that's the first thing we really get, get deep on. From there, we implement a one, like one true cash flow system. So it may be, you know, one of, really, I use one of three funnels, okay? So there's a high-end sales funnel, there's the product launch formula, uh, you know, launch model, and then there's an automated model that I also use. So either one of those three funnels, and it really depends on where they're at, what sort of numbers they're looking to uh, earn on a monthly basis. And then from there, we're looking at foundations and web content, whether they need a website, whether they don't need a website, whether they need to start producing more content and that sort of thing. That kickstart phase really creates ample cash flow so that they're able to move to the next stage. This is all about foundational work and stability. It is proof of concept here. So as they develop a product with the right sales process, the right offer for the marketplace and the right messaging, they're able to create cash flow to move to the next level and feel stable in doing that. For the next stage, we move to launch strategy. And really, that's my background. I've had seven years of consulting and mentoring uh, companies and clients on product launches. Uh, we've done everything from you know low six-figure launches through to seven-figure. It's been an amazing part of what I do and what I'm able to, to help other people with. We teach also partnerships, affiliate strategies, partnership strategies. We go deep on that so that once they have the foundation, they're able to move into a launch kind of strategy with a long-term view. You know, this is where we get to refine their product. We get systems in place that allow scaling and growth, you know, whether that be advertising or other mediums, you know, lots of different things there to try. But this accelerate phase is all about accelerating the business, growing big lists, creating raving fans. Um, this also builds a much larger network. It builds much larger reach for the client. And again, builds a list, creates more and more proof for them, proof of product. The biggest thing in this phase, really, and this is kind of the key um, takeaway from this area, you're creating authoritative positioning for yourself. So that will position you in the market as a leader. And from that point, then you're able to make big moves, you know, with your network, with your list, with your reach and proof, everything multiplies really quickly. And we've been able to do that really effectively through launching um, with our clients. The last phase, and this really comes down to after launching and after you've positioned yourself as a leader, we move to the automate phase. And automating your business is really about building a team, getting the systems in place, and you working on the business, not so much in the business. This is where like true businesses are built. You know, you get your time back, you get that leverage of time back, you're able to, you know, enjoy life a little bit more. Obviously, we are building businesses, it is kind of, it does require work. So here you really gain a lot of time back in your day. Okay, and as I said, this creates you know freedom and scaling and also is a big piece of legacy. Now the queen, you know, as, let me just give you a couple of examples. The, the queen um, could come to me in any of these positions, not usually the kickstart, they normally have cash flow sorted, but they normally look for this launch strategy where they're able to multiply networks and their list and growth really quickly. 
someone like a princess that is struggling to start, they will come to me and look for the kickstart phase where we'll generate cash flow and lay the foundations. You know, a prince, a prince normally has proven products on the market already. And sometimes they come to me just for the automate phase. So it's really about them getting their time back and implementing systems and strategies that, that give them time, that allow them to implement team, you know, that let, allow them to work on their business instead of in their business. But look, I just wanted to give you that overview to just let you know about what I do, essentially, to give you an overview of, you know, you out there who might be listening, whether you be a king, a queen, a prince or a princess, and that can be, as I said, male or female, it really doesn't matter across those four uh, demographics. I'd love to have a conversation with you and you can fill in the form just uh, beside this video and take me up on one of those. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to talk to you which of the, about which of these frameworks is right for you or if it's right for you at all. Um, I'm happy to point you in the right direction if not, but essentially we've been creating some massive results over the years. Again, I've been online for, well now, 18 years and seven years, eight years as a full-time product launch manager, creating some massive results for clients and I'd love to create some of those for you. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.